Good day, everyone, as we take time for this prayer and reflection. This week in our nation is Teacher Appreciation Week. In the midst of all the struggles we are going to, what a fitting time to say thank you to all our teachers. I want to thank all parents as you teach every day by your word and example. I want to thank all who teach in our schools, now working through teaching online. I am grateful to all of you who have taught in our religious education program. And so before I go on to give the gospel reflection about Jesus, our good shepherd and teacher, I want to offer this prayer blessing. Lord God, your spirit of wisdom fills the earth and teaches us your ways. Look upon these teachers. Let them strive to share their knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring your truth to eager minds. Grant that they may follow Jesus Christ, the way and the truth and the life forever and ever. Amen. And so God's blessing on teachers. And may we never forget that Jesus, our good shepherd, as we hear again in the Gospel of John today, is our good teacher. As we hear the people struggling to understand Jesus in the gospel today, they're asking what questions. It reminds us it's okay to ask Jesus questions. It's okay to struggle in faith and say, Jesus, we do not understand. And I know it gives me comfort in my own way as a priest, as a preacher and a teacher that, again, at times when the word does not come across clearly or we, we all struggle to understand it, it's a reminder that Jesus, too, struggled to pass on the good news that he has come to save us. And we hear the people having a hard time understanding Jesus, our teacher. And so I want to read the gospel for today as it continues the theme from John chapter 10 of the Good Shepherd, reminding us that Jesus is our teacher. So may we renew our trust as we continue in this Easter season that Jesus will be our ultimate teacher in life. And so we hear from John chapter 10, verses 22 to 30. The feast of dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area of the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Loving, gracious God, we thank you that you send Jesus to us as our teacher our Savior. May we hear his word today and that we may faithfully follow him, the one who calls us by name, leading us in this life on the way to eternal life. God's blessings.